the blood counter has ended. <laughs> Oh wait, I didn't even remember it's Saturday today. Rayman. Days have been kinda of blur. For a while. Let's see, can you shoot that guy? No line of fire. Nice, good job. Ah, uh -uh. did he actually hit that guy? No, was close though. I'm feeling much better now. Uh, not uh, I still have a bit of a uh, something in my throat and feeling a bit feverish, but still much better than I was yesterday and the day before. Another unemployed day, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you're up for some uh, multiplayer stuff tomorrow, uh, Rayman, uh, I would be available. I think I can... Oh, come closer, please. Yes, thank you. No, we can do it tomorrow, okay. Do we have more others in this? Yes, it's called uh, grenade throwers. Night buses. If you have a uh, someone with a really, really uh, high strength and uh, throwing accuracy, which are very easily trainable, just throw grenades every mission. You can make some insane grenade throwers that just lob grenades across the map. So the alien <laughs> alien decided to close the door on me. Hello. Have a stun. Stun rod up your arse. What did we get? Killman technician. Nice. Uh, actually. Uh, yeah, leave, leave it on the ground. Legacy by Micro. Uh, I didn't think so. Pretty scary RPG. I, I don't think I have a uh, serious cross map t t tomahawk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody's like, yeah, they didn't see me. <laughs> Just close the door. Zero time units if I run there. Ah. I'm almost uh, willing to just uh, bum rush this guy with uh, all these rookies to stun him. Epic RPG to play, that would be nice, definitely. Also, this guy cannot kill me, so I could technically just run at him. Surprise bad sex, yep. Getting alive a uh, deep one is uh, very important for the tech three of the game. So that's why I would like to capture one immediately if possible. Hopefully he doesn't see me from here. Maybe I need to do the clever clever thing and uh, just uh, close the door as well, like the alien. Let's see, can I... Hmm, can we break the wall here? No. 
Good shot. This harpoon guns are worthless. Sergio, we can move you. Still 40 or so. Everyone keeps seeing that guy. You don't have a stun road. Hmm. I like how this this guy is just ha hanging around in there, stopping me from running in with these guys. I think I'll just wait for him to move. Well, you cannot really snipe through the building, so I kind of have to move you in. We'll wait on those guys. Missed me. Hello. Oh. Ah. That civilian stopped in a really shit place. I can actually stun him, but the sh civilian needs to die. Unless I can stun through the window. That civilian is definitely working for the aliens. Let's go hug this alien. Hello! Oh, there's another one. Well, let's still hug this alien. Alien there as well. Ah. It's a damn alien counter here. As if does that in my game, he gets a grenade. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gonna get a grenade uh, in my game as well. Let me hug this. Civilian in disguise? Maybe. He might be. Or some kind of alien sympathizer. If I stun rod him, would he like that, maybe? That that's not killing him. No, that that's that's killing him. Just He's not dead now, he's just unconscious. There's no one there. There's a door here. Please get stunned. Yes. Whew. Now we just need to keep him down as well. Use the alien as a meat shield. <laughs> I closed the door. I'm a bit scared uh, we'll get a grenade here and lose the deep one. Can you shoot this... this guy here? Whatever he is. No line of fire. How about from here? Ah! 
God damn Adrian Mills. Yes, these are Easter Island aids. So he hit the civilian there with the explosive shot, and it killed the deep one as well. I so carefully stunned, and Bo also got hit. Ah, good job. Well, there goes my deep one. <sighs> At least it wasn't you. <laughs> yeah. That literally couldn't go worse than that. That's XCOM for you. <laughs> yep. I mean, I I should have expected that that it was like a bound to happen. It's XCOM. Oh, there's another one. We can capture another one. Nice. So there's a uh, another deep one there. We could try that. You get standard to the face. You are a killman soldier. And this is a well thermal shock launcher. Just have to be really sneaky and sneak in there. Maybe with few losses. I mean, I, I could shoot it as well. I don't know. I kind of would like to capture a live one. I think there's a... well there's the Gilman, if it's Gil Gilman in there. If this is... this is the one, yep. Come on. Let's try the sniper. Anyone else? That's that's going to get a grenade. Good job. <laughs> ah, half of my team is <laughs> killing themselves with these explosive guns. Annoying thing about the deep ones is that they have unlimited ammo as well, so can I just run at them endlessly? That's a grenade! Which missed missed. Nice. Whew. So there's at least one deep one here somewhere. 
There you go. Eighteen, that's not enough. Could go hide behind here. Might not be safe. Let's wait on you for a second. Let's try to kill this alien first. Did he hit? Oh yeah! He actually hit. He's unconscious now. Back to his 8th grade for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to be really young as well when I was playing this. It's such a nice game, Chuck. What is this? Rookies are hitting something. I think he might be one of the last aliens. I don't know if there's maybe someone there. Skip over him. That deep one must be one of the last aliens alive. Gonna risk a uh, a bundi, a bumbi, what? A dumbi. Something, something, something. Hide him behind there. And uh, you. Sergio, you can AFK, you AFK. We need more stun rods that way though. Just stay there. Grenade. Oh, you see him actually. Eek. Let's uh let's see. This guy saw him earlier, so. Where is that deep one? He, he actually might be like right here. There he is. Not enough time he needs to go broad him. I actually should uh, keep eye on these. Uh, downed ones, so they might uh, actually get up. Thanks for the retweet, uh, Chuck, by the way. You can stand there, same for you. Thank God there's no bunkers on this one, o other than this uh, this one here. These are really really annoying spots in the map. Like they are designed to kill your people. Gilman soldier. Oh, yeah, see, there, there is an alien down there. Somehow I'm not surprised. They always like to hide in a corner in there.
Maybe he can uh, run over there and poke. 21. So I could run here and poke. Yes. Whew. Let's not blow up this one this time. So there's one more down here. Begin his sprite. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how could we make XCOM better at beginnings? I'm sure those guys down there can handle the last element. Oh, the civilian is coming to help. Hello. Standard for you as well. Under a soldier. Last one. There we go. Civilian skilled by XCOM operatives. Oops. Yeah, yeah, check. They are just literally meant to kill you. There's even worse uh, buildings on the top. There's those like uh, hills that look like a pyramid, and there's a uh, one uh, tile wide entrance into those, and they are like uh, go like a circle into the middle, like a spiral, and that's the whole building. And it's just like full of corners to get shot when you try to go through those, and there's usually an alien in the middle hiding there. Well, pretty bad points, but we got the live alien, so I'm happy. And we only lost... No one. No one died. Okay, that that's a good mission, then. Sergio Wald, Lieutenant, and Barna was promoted. Trayman in there. Can I almost type. Throwing accuracy is good. No, actually... You're not good for sniping, at least. Good... St um, I don't know. Not even... Good strength. Yeah. We'll just keep you as Rayman for now. Civilians don't matter? No, no. Other than you lose money, but... Hey sir, drink a lot, how's it going? Not good sniping, that's clearly not me then. <laughs> yeah. Kill Rayman. Don't worry, it, it's gonna happen. Sell a few of those. Ah, that's a lot of shit to research. Deep one terrorist. Deep one terrorist is uh, the one we were really trying to get. It's also a really, really good way to break your game in the original game. Because uh, Research 3 in the original game has uh, some bugs. And there's two ways uh, to break the game for you. If you research uh, the Deep One Terrorist or something else, it was uh, in a wrong order. You cannot complete the game because you cannot access the end game uh, technologies, like the flying uh, the best uh, sub for yourself and uh, magnetic ion armors and stuff. Oh, that's fixed on this one though. Let's get rid of those. Yeah, it is really, really shitty bug.
Yeah, it is Devil's Strad. There's a patch for the original game as well, which uh, fixes that problem. Keeps like that. Don't really need a uh, anything else built at the moment. Almost uh, done with the first month. It was a really, really easy first month. Yeah, I did a uh, Plague Center Notes. Monthly rating. <laughs> uh, Asia doesn't like me. I lost some funding. Um, I did like uh, two or three tries uh, when it was in early access chuck and then when it was uh, was fully released, I played through the game. A successful playthrough. Uh, other than the game crashed uh, every time on the victory screen. <laughs> so I actually never saw the victory screen on Xenonauts. On my own game, I had to YouTube to see it. It's like, congratulations, you complete the game, but it crashes every time when you win the game. You ever gonna play a modded dream world like Hardcore, SK or Ultimate Overhaul? I don't know, Torik. I don't know. I'm actually really waiting for the new update for a dream world. The animal system pets are coming in the next pad uh, update for a dream world and it looks really really nice. Get those. Uh, let's make another. Uh, uh, let's see. I I just got. Uh, yeah, let's get a couple more uh, living quarters and uh, what's it called? Laboratory. Animal husbandry may not be out till next year. Ah, that's historic. Uh, if you look at, let me let me show you. Mm, change log. If you look at the current change log, what uh, Tynan is working on here, the work log. Uh, he's actually working on the animals at the moment. Like if you look from uh, July twenty first onwards on that list, it's just a uh, all. Uh, Animal related, animal husbandry related uh, changes. Lots of new animals as well. You never actually played at XCOM 2? Played the first one like crazy though. In your top 10 games of all time. Yeah, this one is. Uh, I actually like this one more, uh, Sir Drinklot. Because I, I played more of this than the first one. Uh, and this one is uh, very, very similar to the first one. Not gonna commit it till it's done, and if he doesn't launch Alpha 12 by the time he goes on vacation, won't be committed till next year. Ah, that sucks. I I'm really hoping he does, uh, Torek, though. Because that would be really amazing. I think it would be a really great addition to the game. You like Apocalypse the most? It is a very nice game as well. I'm hoping uh, now that uh, this one is uh, basically ready. Of course, it's gonna take a while for uh, this to be fully, fully done. But once this is uh, 
out of the door. I really hope uh, they'll start working on uh, open apocalypse as well. So I would love to play that again as well. Come on. I think it's gonna flee. <laughs> Norwegian aliens. <laughs> we are screwed. Come on. There we go. Small UFO. Animal husbandry is gonna be awesome. And colonist children, yeah, that would be nice as well. Let's go to submarine. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with those again. Maybe not that many of those. Actually, we don't need this many of these either. It's not a terror mission. This might be a night mission. <laughs> Here are some alien chemical killing coming. Okay. And do wanna do this? No. It's gonna wait there for a moment. We'll come back when it's not so dark and gloomy. Oh, hello. Gauss rifle. And heavy Gauss. Let's get the clip. How about you start the project and not cancel? How long does refueling one ship take? There we go. It's kind of sad uh, when they made the XCOM Apocalypse, they didn't uh, keep the turn system they had in the uh, demo version of uh, the Apocalypse. Because uh, in XCOM Apocalypse you can go uh, do a turn based or a real time and you can choose that per mission. But actually in the demo version you could uh, change on fly during the mission as well. That was really really nice. Actually, nah. Yeah, that looks fine. Very small map again. Like a really small map. You remember when the demo came out for the first XCOM? You thought it was so unique. Well, it is pretty unique, to be honest. You and your brother had to pull uh, your money to get it fast. <laughs> nice. 
the intro was so cool. It is, it is pretty nice. Both in this one and in the first one. The guy with the minigun. In the original intro. And scary. I, I used to have nightmares of this game when I was younger. Well, hello. Wanna shoot a couple more times? Play XCOM 1 with your cousin, we would stay up like a whole weekend, never leaving computer. <laughs> nice. Sounds like good days. I didn't actually have this game uh, for a long time myself, or, or a PC at all. I used to uh, go to my friend's place and play this a lot. This one and uh, Dune 2. Those were the games we played, like, no end. Both of these sides are like, please throw a grenade. Just like a, nah, just keep firing. Someone will hit one day. Or not. Come on, Sergio, you're, you're the sniper. You, you can surely hit this guy. Good job. Send in the scouts. Music is also in game? Yeah, it is. It is. Especially that part of the music is just amazing. Dun dun. Nice. Nicely done. It didn't die. It's probably bleeding on the ground now. So is there an air mechanic here, or is it infinite? No, it's infinite, definitely. They ruined angry birds too. How did they manage that? Night. Send in the Rayman. That's also a very common place for an alien. That's the UFO. You get 5 lives, it takes an hour to reach in life or you pay. You lose life when you use up all your birds. Birds are random, as I understand, and kind of having like guards. Yeah, that sucks, Rem. Ah, uh, sniper Yeah, just so like any other mobile game, trying to squeeze money out of the people. They were showing the first trailers of the remake and the aliens uh, wear blocks, I say to myself, what are they doing? 
Have you played Terratech? Uh, no, I have not. I actually don't even know about what uh, game that is, uh, Monkey Vegan. Surprisingly intact uh, UFO, even though we shut it down. Not the independence of the audience are not even their targets. Yeah. Whale hunting, yeah. Oh. Strad almost died. Ah, it's one tile away. I would be able to stun him. Go, go, Louis. You suck, Louis. Oh, you still see him? Oh shit. <laughs> You're probably dead, Louis. Unless someone can hit this guy. Good job, Strad. Yeah, that also monkey again. It's it's really really annoying way of uh, trying to make money, because it's it's just a uh, trying to exploit people's uh, addiction more or less, and their lack of judgment. Yeah, yeah, that would be really, really, really nice, uh, night buses. And sadly, it works. You do in Norway, actually. We don't ban it, but there was a huge warnings on the buy tab for it. Yeah, but the warning doesn't really do anything. You have to outright ban it. Because kids and people are dumb. Warnings are useless. Last alien is extremely likely in the UFO. Maybe we can stun the last alien as well. We don't really need a more uh, live gilman. We have a soldier, we have technician, I don't think there is a uh, anything in this UFO that we can actually get that's useful. Guess just wait there. Hello. He has a pistol and it's looking at me. He didn't die. Good mission. You are still doing well, well Sergio. You actually killed an alien this mission as well. You're sniping very well. Hey, Underclan. There is a system in place where they cannot use it unless they have a password that the parents have set. If the parent has given the past kids, it's the, their fault. Yeah. Yeah.
Please tell me you downloaded the community patch. No, this is actually the open uh, version under clan. Not just the community patch. Can I be a red shirt? <laughs> I think we have uh, someone the name now. Sarus. Or a scout. Sure. Let's see. Well, no, not really. We'll, we'll name this for you. You're, you're a scout then. Red shirt scout for the win. Yeah, it, it's so nice. Underclan. Been waiting for it to work. I mean, uh, for the open version to be released uh, for a long, long time. So you're mostly playing uh, coastal areas and underwater. Yeah, yeah, nice. Th this one is uh, focused on the underwater part. Star Wars Galaxies? Uh, no. Bunch of aliens. <laughs> yeah, it probably does. Kind of like looks uh, like a Terrell. Like one of the new uh, Terrells. It's nice that they made a. Uh, I mean, research the Gauss rifles, but you need to research the clips separately, and the clips are unknown basically. It's like, yeah, we made this nice gun. How how do how do you shoot with this? Oh, you need uh, ammunition as well. Well, let's spend a couple weeks figuring out how to actually make the ammunition as well. You would think they uh, designed the ammunition with the gun. Especially because the gun is totally useless without the ammunition. <laughs> yeah, there was an auto save there. There we go. Rifle clip. Ah, I should have actually made uh, the rifles while we were researching. Oh well. Let's get deep one terrorist next. Actually, no. Let's get medkit next. Let's hire a few uh, technicians. Expensive. We built a bullet for the barrel, but not the barrel for the bullet. <laughs> so quiet, aliens. Let's actually see, see where they are doing stuff. Indian Ocean, and North Sea, and Antarctic, and Africa. So they are basically uh, doing stuff down here. We have this in reality too, a gun we can't use since we don't have ammo for it. It's a bit of cop out, uh, but we do have handed laser rifles that work. What we don't have is the ammo, battery bags that won't be the size of a car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wheel out the ammo. <laughs> yeah. You have a guy running with a rifle and a car driving behind him. UFO! It's flying over to Africa again. You cannot actually uh, shoot down UFOs uh, while they're on the land. So you have to wait for them to actually go on water. I 
I read someone uh, was saying uh, on a different uh, stream that there's a mod uh, that combines the first game and this game, so you have underwater and the land battles at the same time. Land is safe so you can touch me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least in the first game, uh, you can shoot them down into the water. It just uh, destroys the UFO. We'll wait for the morning again before we go down there. Oh, you are still wounded, huh? Three rifles, but no ammunition. Where is the moon in all of this? <laughs> Missing. Uh, I think I went too early. You really don't want to fight uh, during night in this game, especially uh, if the UFO happens to land in a uh, deep water. It's just utterly dark in those. The moon is where the camera is. <laughs> oh, so we are we are uh, watching from the moon base. for a uh, stats it's a corner okay. moon moves the earth can I have my own tidal wave generator no oh. this UFO is slightly broken See you, Thanks for uh, stopping by. I'll try to keep you alive. But no, no promises, though. <laughs> We could use uh, one of those grenades from here, actually. Actually, one of those grenades. This one. It's a smoke grenade, basically. Which is actually fixed in this... In the base, uh, terror from the deep, they are broken. <laughs> Gilman and Gorps, so it's Gilman in this one. <laughs> Haven't seen Aquatoids too much, only the first mission was Aquatoids, then it's been 
nothing. I don't see how smoke smoke works underwater. It's actually a die grenade uh, under clan. Not smoke. It's one of these uh, die grenades. So it's kind of like a squid ink or something similar. guys shouldn't have those. Kool-Aid everywhere. <laughs> hey Papa Man Bear. Terror from the deep indeed. I actually like how you install this game. Uh, you have to have the first game and the second game, install both, and then you uh, install the open version. And the change between the games, you actually enable this game from the mod section. <laughs> See, it is literally a mod for the first game. There's someone there. A pistol. Hmm. It's in a quite crappy spot. Cannot snipe through this. Yeah, this is a uh, moment where. Oh, you, you see that one? Oh. I think you can shoot that guy. Nice. Nice shot. 70% hit. And you actually hit. Nicely done. Gotta look back into that website. Yeah, they uh, it's not full full release of this yet. They are still working uh, fixing some bugs. But you can get it from the nightly builds of the section. Well it's not on the front page as well, so it's not too difficult to find. Nice, at least three aliens died uh, from the crash landing. The engines of the UFO are here and they blew up. Who is this Adrian Mills? <laughs> it's uh, just a random guy. Ooh, hello. Hmm. What do you mean no line of sight? Nicely done! Kielfried. I think the open version uh, added uh, new names for the game as well. I don't remember some of these names. And I saw some Finnish names as well. In the game. And I, I don't think the original had any, any Finnish, Finnish names. You remember the names? Uh, well, some of the names uh, in the game are like the random names. In the